I think any game can like teach you to, to play in its play style and teach you why that's cool. That's like a huge component of all of the games that we make. A lot of the core of it is like giving you a well-rounded classic experience you'll remember forever, but like usually it starts with like, hey, remember that old NES game? Remember that old Game Boy game? Why don't they do more with that? Someone should have done more with that. You could do so much more with it. And so like, I think that's one of the missions of, of Yacht Club is like trying to not only like make you love our games, but make you love the games that we love. I heard about Mina actually separately from Alec because he developed this game kind of like on the side as his little secret project. Uh, so when I first heard about Mina, I was actually really scared. I thought, oh Jesus, Alec, Alec's gonna like leave the company and he's gonna like bring this game with him. So many of those like basic ideas are already in place, like the burrowing and like the way that combat works, like on a, in a broad sense is like kind of already there. But so much of it is like totally different. And as soon as we like brought it to, to, to the table and everybody had their say on it, I think just everything improved, right? Like Sandy and Morgan, the artists like took a big pass at like all the colors and all the, uh, all the tile sets, but also like the main character. She used to have this like big old clown nose that you can see right there. <laughs> she like sucking on a pacifier. It's like, no, that's her big weird clown nose. We knew we wanted to make something that was 2D, that had the same spirit that we did with Shovel Knight. And we, uh, we didn't want to lose all of ourselves making a 3D game. We wanted to keep some of that 2D spirit alive. And we knew that we had made Shovel Knight, which was a platformer and it was side-scrolling. And it was like a medieval, it's a little bit like funny fantasy. And so we wanted something that was, uh, that would be a good pair to that. The way that you've got Mario and Zelda and Metroid, these tentpole franchises that Nintendo put together. If Shovel Knight was our Mario, then well, what is our Zelda gonna be? Mm -hmm.